throw the deep ball today. I, wanted, I just wanted to have you walk me through that that, uh, that play. Uh, my number my number was called. Uh, went went to the huddle. Tua gave the play. You know, I just uh, self imagery and went out there and ran the route. It was a beautiful ball. I'm glad, I was make, I, I'm glad I was able to make a play for QB1. I saw that little veteran uh, little arm bar there, but it, it looked like it was smooth enough to get away with. think that was a flag or no? No, I feel like it was smooth. It was just routine. I feel like uh, natural with uh, me and Tua uh, being able to connect there. Is that a natural thing for you on deep ball? Part of the tracking is kind of filling that guy behind you, making sure you know where he is. For, for sure. You know, you got to win on the route first off the release, and then once you get by him, you got to stack him and keep him there and be able to track the ball and make a play. So McDaniel talked this morning about the, the rookie class and the challenge of going from, you know, the workouts for the combine to get ready for the draft, and just the workload for a rookie in their off season, and the challenge of picking up a playbook as a pro. Kind of want to get your perspective as far as just the way you're able to kind of get in here, get the playbook, learn and grow, and your daily progress. With me, man, I just I just go and I draw every play uh, every day. They, they give us a script, and I just draw every play before I go to sleep just so I can mentally see it. and then and then the next day read it over before we go out to practice. And, you know, I, I do my best day to day to grasp the information and, and go out there and make plays. How much do you kind of communicate with Tyreek and other guys on the sideline about that stuff in between periods out here? Uh, definitely, you know, when uh, they're going and they're getting the reps, you know, I'm out, I'm out there watching every single thing that they do, you know, uh, so I can get mental reps as well. What about Wes Welker? How's he helped you kind of get to the point where you are growing right now? You know, Wes has uh, been a big part of this and with the fact that, you know, I'm a rookie and I'm trying to, you know, make plays and, and get the playbook right, you know, I, I ask him a lot of questions in, in meetings and stuff like that. And he's always uh, he's always 100 percent with me and, and he helps me out a lot. What's the hardest part about being a rookie? Um, I feel like the speed isn't isn't as fast as from going to high school to college, but, you know, just grasping the playbook. You know, I was in a signal oriented offense in, in college and, and with that, it's a different with the huddle scheme, pro style, with you know uh, the verbiage, uh, with calling every play out. So as a rookie, you're trying to constantly prove yourself. What gets you going more? Challenges by an NFL corner or trying to live up to that wide receiving core led by Tyreek and Waddle? Uh, you know, I just with me, I know my my play style is different from them, and uh, you know I take I take some of uh, their game and and use it in my in my game as well. But uh, I just go out there every day and, and, and do me and try to do what I do best. Eric, with you know, Tua and Mike McDaniel, what has this training camp experience kind of been like for you so far? And what do you think this season and, and beyond could probably be for all you guys? Man, uh, I feel like we're a very electric offense. You know, uh, every day is a day to get better. And I feel like we're, we're going in the right direction every day. Uh, we have to bring energy every day. You know, I feel like with, with the receivers, we bring the spark to the offense. And, and with that, we just got to, you know, keep doing us and keep making plays. One more thing. Can you pronounce your last name just to make sure we get it right? Ezukama. Uh, I, was, I had it right. He's been asked that. What's been sure. your favorite part of this process and just getting adjusted to being an NFL player? Man, uh, just going to work every day. I, you know, I love ball. Uh, I love going out here and playing football and making plays. So, you know, be able to do that as my job every day, you know, it's a blessing. And, you know, I can't, can't take nothing from it. Do you have any goals for yourself in this training camp? You know, just try to make the team, uh, take it day by day, uh, learn the playbook, master the playbook, and just know what I'm doing on every single play I go out there. We saw Skyler and uh, Braylon doing the pump up, and they did it the other day when there wasn't fans here, so I was curious, like, was that a rehearsed thing you guys were planning on, and why Skyler and uh, Braylon for that? Uh, they just got chose, and, uh, you know, they rehearsed it before, and then they went out there and did it for real, so. You know, those are good guys and, and fun to watch them do that. They work into the rumple still skin that uh, Blaze Andrews did the other day? <laughs> no. Nah, Eric, you mentioned the signal being a big adjustment for you as far as now a huddle based offense. I'm curious, when you, now that you've been in it a little bit, what's something about what you did at Texas Tech that has really well prepared you for a certain role that you'll have here in Miami? Um, being in Coach Cumbie's offense, with Cumbie moving me uh, around to the slot outside and in, in the backfield, I feel like with this offense, you know, it helps me uh, emphasize that part of my game as well. So I feel like with that, it helped me a lot.